As the Coffee Pot House first year comes to a close, Unger Breitop says it's been more successful than he had thought. The quirky nature of the building first grabbed his attention last year when he was visiting a friend. After realizing the house was for sale, Breitop decided to pick up everything and move from Arizona. The, the building's shaped like a coffee pot, so it's kind of a work of art in a sense. So uh, it represents kind of uh, an artistic kind of theme. The building was built in 1959 and operated as a restaurant for nearly 20 years. Since then, the coffee pot shaped building has been a canoe rental store, a fish market, a bar, a gas station, and finally an art studio. Raytop specializes in stone art and metal sculptures. He creates river rock, cairn fountains, maple and cedar slab benches, and amber onyx pieces made from materials from Argentina. Since he first opened, Braintop says he's shifted from making more fine art pieces to using more natural elements because his local customers seem to prefer it. A few well-known local artists, like Devin Malore, also display their work in the studio. A lot of people will come in because the building's featured on three different uh, travel websites, and then some people are locals that know the building historically from, you know, going back to 1959. So they'll show up. Raytop has devoted himself to learning more about the history of this architectural nod to one of America's most popular drinks. Local legend has it that the building used to be surrounded by a concrete walkway that was painted red to mimic a stove's hot burner. Some road trippers are treated to a vision of smoke flowing out from the spout, completing the homage to a percolator. The building is listed on the Lexington Robbers Studio Tour and appears on travel websites like Roadside America and Atlas Obscura. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm Caroline Leak.